if you're like me, love cooking on a camp oven, but don't want to spend $300, $200, even $100 on a folding fire pit, then for under $30, here's a great alternative. G'day Dennis from Caravan Cooking, coming to you from Milperinka and Outback, um, New South Wales. You see these beautiful uh, old stone buildings here, the, um, the old post office built in 1896, the old police barracks built in 1883, and this is Evelyn College, uh, Cottage actually where we're staying as volunteers, so um, uh, a great place to come to. A couple of nights ago we had the best roast. We had a pork roast cooked in the, the spun steel camp oven. Um, over heat beads, so we had heat beads on the on the, the top, heat beads on the bottom. But in a lot of places you can't have an open fire. You can't have a fireplace. You've got, got to use a fire pit. And this little contraption here called the Camp Maid um, works very very well. So fire pits are quite expensive. You can, you can buy a, a portable fire pit for around the two hundred dollar mark uh, for a good quality one. But this little camp um, made contraption here is under $30. You can even use it on a uh, metal table like I've got here. It's that simple. Right, so I was talking about the camp made contraption that you can use um, in place of a, a fire pit. It's very cheap, it's under 30 Australian dollars. Um, and it folds almost flat. So you can actually store it inside your camp oven when traveling. So it folds down flat, it's made of uh, um, strong steel. So then it's just a matter of unfolding the legs like this. Then standing it up. I've got a metal table here, so I can literally uh, cook on, on um, uh, heat beads or hot coals um, on the metal table, it's that versatile. So we've got this little stand here. You can see this pin uh, coming down here uh, underneath. And then you've got this little shelf. And this is the little shelf is actually what you put the heat beads on underneath the camp oven. So if you squeeze that open. And coming down here, you squeeze it open and it just goes, locates on that pin and hangs down underneath like that. It's that simple. And then you put your heat beads uh, in the in the um, uh, the heat beads underneath the camp oven in this little shelf here. And then the camp oven goes on top of the stand. And then you put the other heat beads on uh, uh, on your lid of the camp oven, of course. So I use um, twice as many heat beads on the top as I do on the bottom. I find that gives me a great result. Obviously, I've got a trivet in, in, uh, inside the camp oven as well to keep the, um, the roast off the bottom of the camp oven. As I said, we had a, 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 a um, pork roast and it was to die for. The, cra the crackling was um, nice and crunchy as well. The other thing you can do with this uh, little shelf here is at the beginning of your heat beads, of course, they're quite hot. And so you can have the, the shelf down lower. And as the heat beads start to die off, you squeeze this, raise the shelf up, and then the heat beads come closer to the bottom of the camp oven. So maintaining that level of heat. So there's really no need to add extra heat beads to that. So I think all up I use probably about 30 heat beads. Uh, and that, that um, and that's all I used and that cooked the uh, pork roast beautifully. The other thing I use when we cook a roast is this little ink bird um, meat thermometer. So the little probe goes actually in the meat. It means you don't have to uh, keep opening up the lid and letting the juices out of the roast. So that goes in uh, the, um, the body of the meat. And then this little fella here sits outside the camp oven and a Bluetooth to your mobile phone. So it's recommended that the internal temperature of pork is 63 degrees. So all I had to do is keep a, an eye on the temperature on my mobile phone, on the app on my mo mobile phone. It didn't need internet connection, just Bluetooth. And then um, I, I could keep the lid of the camp oven closed and keep the moisture in. And of course, when it got to 63 degrees, 
roast was cooked. It was beautiful. It was so um, moist and tender inside. With the, 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 the um, crackling on the top, it was just to die for. It was really good. So here we are um, loading up the little shelf on the camp made with heat beads. I prefer to use heat beads most of the time rather than coals from the fire. They, um, they seem to retain the heat a, a lot more. You don't need to uh, keep refreshing them. Plenty of heat beads on there. The shelf is quite stable. Then on goes the camp oven. In this case, I'm um, cooking lamb shanks. Look at the size of those beauties. They, they're really great. I'm cooking um, a lamb shanks in red wine sauce in this case. And that's another video that will be coming up shortly. Now we've got the Inkbird thermometer sensor in the um, in the lamb shanks there. Here's the um, the main body of the Inkbird thermometer. You plug it into the sensor, press the button, Bluetooth connect to your mobile phone. And there it is connected to the app on the on the mobile phone. So we're looking to get to 66 degrees in this case. Look, I ran out of um, heat beads. I was in the middle of the outback. I couldn't pop down the shop and get some. So I had to light a fire and get some coals to go on the top. Really important you have that heat on the top of your uh, camp oven. Um, and you need to have a significant amount as well. In actual fact, I had so much heat on the top there that I had to move the camera up. So there's the, the um, fire, fire on the left there. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's lots more videos, including camp oven videos coming up. This is Dennis from Caravan Cooking. Thanks for watching. Huru.